Hello guys, so on the RPG Maker web forums, um, I got requested to kind of show you guys how I achieved this look right here with my window. So uh, I'm going to do my best to recreate it on um, this one right here and kind of carry you guys through the motions. So I'm just going to hide this. I'm going to first create a, a new layer, so Control shift n I'm going to name it bottom L. And what I'm going to do is start drawing my light rays. So. You're gonna take your polygon lasso tool, blam blam, start drawing your rays. We're gonna use the gradient tool. Pretty much just carrying it to the bottom, like so. And a lot of people like to apply the Gaussian blur to their light rays, but I'm gonna kind of stay away from that because I mean, at least um, at least in my game, I'm using pixel-based graphics, and I want my lighting to be kind of pixely as well, if that makes sense. So what I'm going to do is actually just control V that. It'll be easier. Putting up like that, I'm going to change my opacity to probably, oops, I should probably connect these layers, eh? So control E, connect the layers, and then change the opacity to, what the hell am I doing? Oh my lord. The struggle is too real right now, help me, help me lord. Okay, so change that back to 100%. <laughs> um, control E those layers together, and then let's make this 70%. Awesome, okay. Then we're gonna create a new layer. We're gonna name this bottom S for small. We are going to then draw our rays on this little thing. So blam, the light wouldn't travel really outwards because of the curtains and the height. So we'll go like Z. Maybe a little bit further than that for fun. And like that. Nice. Gonna draw it down. Like so. And I mean, um, the goal is to essentially have rays that aren't all the same shape and size so that you have like this little overlap right here um, so that it looks a little bit more uh, flush, I guess you could say. We're going to transform, transform and just flip this horizontally um, so that it kind of matches up. Right there, looks good. And then we're going to connect our layers. And then we're going to do, let's say, 80%. Cool. Okay, now we're going to head into our second uh, row of windows. So we're going to need this middle. L for large, which is the large ones, obviously. We're going to draw our first one. And I'm going to take it out a little bit wider than the other one, just because I want a little bit of um, overflow. I'm going to do the same thing. Grab our gradient tool. And um, obviously it's on foreground to transparent. I'm sorry if I didn't tell you guys that. I'm going to carry it down. Blam. Looks good. We're going to control C and then control V. Move that light right over. Get a little bit. Of <clears throat> sorry, we get a little bit of overlap, which is good. We're going to do this on sixty percent. Cool. So you can see like a little bit of overlap right here on the, uh, the smaller rays as well. We're going to create a new layer once again. Um, name this middle S. Do the same thing, just draw our rays. This will peek out from behind the curtains a little bit because of the height. Blam, 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 blam. I think that's a bit of a weird shape, but I mean, I don't think people will be able to tell once it is all done, so I don't really care. <laughs> and actually, I like the way that looks now. I'm gonna transform once again, flip it horizontally just to make it match up, and then put that right there. We'll change the opacity of this. Should probably combine them first. So combine your layers. Change the opacity to 70. You get a little bit of overflow from the two small windows as well. Looks beautiful. We're gonna create another layer. Top L for large once again. We're going to draw our Ooh. That scared me. <laughs> Canada, um, especially Calgary, has really great weather. If you're ever thinking of coming to visit, I mean, it's been storming here for a week all during Stampede. It's been pretty fun. Okay, so just drawing our light rays again. I think that's actually really fat. I'm not really 
I'm feeling the shape of that. Let's try again. I think width-wise, this is probably a little bit better. I mean, if your lines aren't perfect, I don't think it really matters because at the end of the day, um, they're gonna be, there's gonna be a little bit of um, transparency and stuff anyway, so I don't think most people are gonna notice. I'm gonna copy that layer. We're going to move it horizontally once again, so flip it horizontally and then line it up like that. And change the opacity to maybe like 50. Let's see. Oopsies, wow. Okay, combine the layers first. You think I would have this by now? Change the opacity to 50, there we go. And then we'll do one last one for this top little part right there. So top S. That's gonna bother me, OCD life. Um, go in right here, draw your little ray. Oh wow. Yeah, the polygon tool is not super cooperative sometimes, so don't mind me. I'm gonna go like this. I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger just so it fills in this little gap in the middle because um, it feels pretty bare. And then just carry it down. Let's do this at like 80%. Let's see. Does make a difference even? <laughs> I don't even know. Let's try 50. Yeah, that made a difference. Okay. Let's do 60. And then just kind of erase the edges of this one right there. Okay, cool. And then we're going to do a final layer. We're going to call this Glow. And what we're going to do is use our gradient tool once again. We're going to do a radial, radial gradient. So this middle one. I was like, is that right? <laughs> We're gonna use our elliptical marquee tool. I have mine sent to fixed width, I believe. Fixed width, is it? No, it's normal? Okay, that's cool. It used to be fixed width, anyways. Just kinda make sure you're um, generally aligned. I mean, it's not the hugest deal, but just make sure it's kind of aligned. And then um, start from the middle, draw up, blam. Oh, that's huge, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Okay, so draw from the middle, go up, maybe to about there instead. That's still huge. I mean, let's see how this looks. That's a little bit too bright for me. Ooh, Lord. Shut up. I'm trying to hurry through this tutorial. Uh, leave me alone, Photoshop. Okay, so how about now? Oh, I don't like that. Clear out. There we go. Let's just do like this, maybe. That's better. Let's change the opacity to like 30, maybe. 40. 40 looks good. And this ray is starting to bother me. Let's do this one on 40. Let's see how that one looks. No, let's do 50. There we go. And you can fill out the opacities and stuff as you so desire, obviously. Let's see how this looks comparing it to our other one. It's going to obviously be different because I didn't make this one from scratch. Yeah, so you can see that my glow here is definitely not as bright. So let's do 20. Yeah, similar enough. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. I mean, obviously the shapes are different, but I mean, the result is similar enough. So you can play with your shapes as you so desire. Um, obviously this color, I think, is a little bit more yellow than the one I picked here, but it's all about practice. So um, you know, if you're trying to do a nighttime scene or if you have like a really um, color specific scene in your game, obviously you can play around with your coloring. So, you know, night is obviously a little bit more blue. Um, if you're in the desert, maybe make it a little bit more orange or a little bit more yellow. Um, you know, winter would be a little bit more white and a little bit more um, transparent. You know, it's, it's all about you, what you like stylistically, and then, you know, how you're going to play with it. Um, thank you so much for watching. I hope this helped you out a little bit. If you have any other requests for Photoshop tutorials with your games, please ask. I play around a lot. 